You are listening to a 31 Pearls production audiobook. All rights are reserved. No part of this video or audio may be reproduced. 3 Enoch is an Old Testament apocryphal book. 3 Enoch purports to have been written in the 2nd century CE, but its origins can only be traced to the 5th century. Other names for 3 Enoch include the Third Book of Enoch, the Book of the Palaces, the Book of Rabbi Ishmael the High Priest, and the Revelation of Metatron. Modern scholars describe this book as pseudepigraphal, as it says it is written by Rabbi Ishmael, who became a high priest after visions of ascension to heaven, 90 CE to 135 CE. Rabbi Ishmael is a leading figure of Merkaba literature. The Third Book of Enoch Book of Rabbi Ishmael Merkaba Hebrew, Book of Enoch Read by 31 Pearls And Enoch walked with God. And he was not, for God took him. Chapter 1 Rabbi Ishmael said when, I ascended on high, to behold the vision of the Merkaba, and had entered the six halls, one, within the other. As soon as I reached the door of the seventh hall, I stood still, in prayer, before the Holy One, blessed be He. And lifting up my eyes on high towards the Divine Majesty, I said, Lord of the universe, I pray Thee, that the merit of Aaron, the son of Amram, the lover of peace and pursuer of peace, who received the crown of priesthood from thy glory on the Mount of Sinai, be valid for me in this hour. So that Kafsil, the prince, and the angels with him may not get power over me, nor throw me down from the heavens. Forth with the Holy One, blessed be he, sent to me Metatron, his servant the angel, the prince of the presence. And he, spreading his wings, with great joy came to meet me so as to save me from their hand. And he took me by his hand in their sight, saying to me, Enter in peace, before the high and exalted king, and behold the picture of the Merkaba. Then I entered the seventh hall. And he led me to the camps of Shekinah. And placed me before the Holy One, blessed be he, to behold the Merkaba. As soon as the princes of the Merkaba and the flaming seraphim perceived me, they fixed their eyes upon me. Instantly, trembling and shuddering seized me. And I fell down and was benumbed by the radiant image of their eyes and the splendid appearance of their faces. Until the Holy One, blessed be He, rebuked them, saying, My servants, my seraphim, my cherubim, and my ophanim, Cover ye your eyes, before Ishmael my son, my friend, my beloved one and my glory. That he tremble not, nor, shudder. Forthwith, Metatron, the prince of the presence, came and restored my spirit and put me upon my feet. After that moment, there was not in me, strength enough to say a song before the throne of glory of the glorious king, the mightiest of all kings the most excellent of all princes, until after the hour had passed. After one hour had passed, the Holy One, blessed be He, opened to me the gates of Shekinah, the gates of peace, the gates of wisdom, the gates of strength, the gates of power, the gates of speech, the gates of song, the gates of Kedusha, the gates of chant and he enlightened my eyes and my heart, by words of psalm, song, praise, exaltation, thanksgiving, extalment, glorification, hymn and eulogy. And as I opened my mouth, uttering a song before the Holy One, blessed be he. The Holy Cheyoth, beneath and above the throne of glory, answered and said, Holy and blessed be the glory of Yahweh from his place. Chapter 2 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, In that hour, the eagles of the Merkaba, the flaming of Phanim and the seraphim of consuming fire, asked of Metatron, saying to him, Youth, why sufferest thou, one born of woman, to enter and behold the Merkaba? 
From which nation, from which tribe is this one? What is his character? Metatron answered and said to them, From the nation of Israel whom the Holy One, blessed be he, chose for his people, from among seventy tongues. From the tribe of Levi, whom he set aside as a contribution to his name. And from the seed of Aaron whom the Holy One, blessed be he, did choose for his servant. And put upon him the crown of priesthood on Sinai. Forthwith, they spake and said, Indeed, this one is worthy to behold the Merkaba. And they said, Happy is the people that is in such a case. Chapter 3 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, In that hour I asked Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, What is thy name? He answered me, I have seventy names, corresponding to the seventy tongues of the world. And all of them are based upon the name Metatron, Angel of the Presence. But my king calls me youth. Chapter 4 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, I asked Metatron and said to him, Why art thou called, by the name of thy creator, by seventy names? Thou art greater than all the princes, higher than all the angels, beloved more than all the servants, honored above all the mighty ones in kingship, greatness, and glory. Why do they call thee youth in the high heavens? He answered and said to me, Because I am Enoch, the son of Jared. For when the generation of the flood sinned and were confounded in their deeds, saying unto God, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Then the Holy One blessed be he, removed me from their midst, to be a witness against them in the high heavens, to all the inhabitants of the world, that they may not say, The merciful one is cruel. What sins had they committed, all those multitudes? Or let it be, they sinned. What had their sons and their daughters, their mules, and their cattle, sinned? And likewise, all the animals, domestic and wild, and the birds in the world, that God did destroy from the world. Hence the Holy One, blessed be He, lifted me up in their lifetime before their eyes, to be a witness against them to the future world. And the Holy One, blessed be He, assigned me for a prince and a ruler among the ministering angels. In that hour, three of the ministering angels, Uzzah, Azza, and Azael, came forth, and brought charges against me in the high heavens, saying before the Holy One, Blessed be He. Said not, the ancient ones, rightly before thee, do not, create man. The Holy One blessed be He, answered, and said unto them, I have made, and I will bear. Yea, I will carry, and will deliver. As soon as they saw me, they said before him, Lord of the universe, what is this one, that he should ascend to the height of heights? Is not he, one from among the sons, of the sons, of those who perished in the days of the flood? What doeth he, in the Reikia? Again, the Holy One, blessed be he, answered and said to them, What are ye, that ye enter and speak in my presence? I delight in this one more than in all of you. And hence, he shall be a prince and a ruler over you in the high heavens. Forthwith, all stood up and went out to meet me, prostrated themselves before me, and said, Happy art thou, and happy is thy father. For thy Creator doth favor thee. And because I am small and a youth among them in days, months, and years, therefore, they call me youth. Chapter 5 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the Prince of the Presence said to me, From the day when the Holy One, blessed be He, expelled the first Adam from the Garden of Eden and onwards, Shekinah was dwelling upon a cherub under the Tree of Life. 
And the ministering angels were gathering together, and going down from heaven in parties from the Rechia in companies, and from the heavens in camps, to do his will in the whole world. And the first man and his generation were sitting outside the gate of the garden, to behold the radiant appearance of the Shekinah. For the splendor of the Shekinah traversed the world from one end to the other. With a splendor, 365,000 times that of the globe of the sun. And every one who made use of the splendor of the Shekinah. On him no flies and no gnats did rest, neither was he ill. Nor suffered he any pain. No demons got power over him, neither were they able to injure him. When the Holy One, blessed be he, went out and went in. From the garden to Eden. From Eden to the garden. From the garden to Rechia and from Rechia to the garden of Eden. Then all and everyone beheld the splendor of his Shekinah and they were not injured. Until the time of the generation of Enosh, who was the head of all idol worshippers of the world. And what did the generation of Enosh do? They went from one end of the world to the other. And each one brought silver, gold, precious stones and pearls in heaps, like unto mountains and hills, making idols out of them, throughout all the world. And they erected the idols in every quarter of the world. The size of each idol was one thousand parasangs. Editor's note, one parasang is equal to just over 3.5 miles. And they brought down the sun, the moon, planets and constellations and place them before the idols on their right hand, and on their left, to attend them even as they attend the Holy One, blessed be He. As it is written, And all the host of heaven was standing by Him on His right hand and on His left. What power was in them that they were able to bring them down? They would not have been able to bring them down but for Uzza, Azza and Azielius, who taught them sorceries. Whereby, they brought them down, and made use of them. In that time, the ministering angels brought charges against them before the Holy One, blessed be He, saying before Him, Master of the world, what hast thou to do with the children of men? As it is written, What is man, that thou art mindful of him? Ma'adam is not written here, but Ma'inash. For he is the head of the idol worshippers. Why hast thou left the highest of the high heavens, which are filled with the majesty of thy glory, and are high, uplifted and exalted, and the high and exalted throne in the Rechia Araboth, on high, and art gone and dwellest with the children of men, who worship idols and equal thee, to the idols. Now, thou art on earth and the idols likewise. What hast thou to do with the inhabitants of the earth who worship idols? Forthwith, the Holy One blessed be he, lifted up his Shekinah from the earth, from their midst. In that moment came the ministering angels, the troops of hosts and the armies of Araboth, in thousand camps and ten thousand hosts. They fetched trumpets, and took the horns in their hands and surrounded the Shekinah with all kinds of songs. And he ascended to the high heavens, as it is written. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Chapter 6 of Third Enoch read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence said to me. When the Holy One blessed be he, desired to lift me up on high. He first sent, Anaphael, the prince. And he took me from their midst in their sight, and carried me in great glory, upon a fiery chariot with fiery horses, servants of glory. And he lifted me up to the high heavens, together with the Shekinah. As soon as I reached the high heavens, the holy Chayoth, the Ophanim, the Seraphim, the Cherubim, the wheels of the Merkaba, the Galgalim, and the ministers of the consuming fire. Perceiving my smell from a distance of 365,000 myriads of parasangs, said, What smell, of one born of woman, and what taste of a white drop is this, 
that ascends on high. And lo, he is merely a gnat among those who divide flames of fire. The Holy One, blessed be he, answered, and spake unto them. My servants, my hosts, my cherubim, my ophanim, my seraphim. Be ye not displeased on account of this. Since all the children of men have denied me and my great kingdom and are gone worshipping idols, I have removed my Shekinah from among them, and have lifted it up on high. But this one, whom I have taken from among them, is an elect one among the inhabitants of the world. And he is equal to all of them in faith, righteousness, and perfection of deed. And I have taken him for as a tribute from my world, under all the heavens. Chapter 7 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty One Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, When the Holy One, blessed be he, took me away from the generation of the flood, he lifted me on the wings of the wind of Shekinah to the highest heaven, and brought me into the great palaces of the Araboth, Rekia on high. Where are the glorious throne of Shekinah, the Merkaba, the troops of anger, the armies of vehemence, the fiery Shinanim, the flaming cherubim, and the burning Ophanim, the flaming servants, the flashing Chashmalim, and the lightning Seraphim. And he placed me there to attend the throne of glory, day after day. Chapter 8 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty One Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the prince of the presence, said to me, Before he appointed me to attend the throne of glory, the Holy One, blessed, be he. Open to me three hundred thousand gates of understanding, three hundred thousand gates of subtlety, three hundred thousand gates of life, three hundred thousand gates of grace and loving kindness. 300,000 gates of love, 300,000 gates of Torah, 300,000 gates of meekness, 300,000 gates of maintenance, 300,000 gates of mercy, 300,000 gates of fear of heaven. In that hour the Holy One, blessed be He, added in me wisdom unto wisdom, understanding unto understanding. Subtlety unto subtlety, knowledge unto knowledge. Mercy unto mercy, instruction unto instruction. Love unto love, loving kindness unto loving kindness. Goodness unto goodness. Meekness unto meekness. Power unto power, strength unto strength, might unto might. Brilliance unto brilliance, beauty unto beauty. Splendor unto splendor and I was honored, and adorned with all these good and praiseworthy things, more than all the children of heaven. Chapter 9 of Third Enoch Read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the Prince of the Presence, said to me, After all these things the Holy One, blessed be He, put His hand upon me, and blessed me with five thousand, 360 blessings. And I was raised and enlarged to the size of the length and width of the world. And he caused seventy-two wings to grow on me, thirty-six on each side. And each wing was as the whole world. And he fixed on me three hundred and sixty-five eyes. Each eye was as the great luminary. And he left no kind of splendor, brilliance, radiance, beauty, and of all the lights of the universe, that he did not, fix on me. Chapter 10 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the Prince of the Presence, said to me, All these things the Holy One, blessed be He, made for me. He made me a throne, similar to the throne of glory. And he spread over me a curtain of splendor and brilliant appearance, of beauty, grace and mercy, similar to the curtain of the throne of glory. And on it were fixed all kinds of lights in the universe. 
and he placed it at the door of the seventh hall, and seated me on it. And the herald went forth into every heaven, saying, This is Metatron, my servant. I have made him into a prince, and a ruler over all the princes of my kingdoms, and over all the children of heaven, except the eight great princes, the honored and revered ones, who are called Yahweh, by the name of their king. And every angel and every prince, who has a word to speak in my presence before me, shall go into his presence, before him, and shall speak, to him, instead. And every command, that he utters to you, in my name, do ye observe and fulfill. For the prince of wisdom and the prince of understanding have I committed to him. To instruct him in the wisdom of heavenly things, and of earthly things in the wisdom of this world and, of the world to come. Moreover, I have set him over all the treasuries of the palaces of Araboth, and over all the stores of life that I have in the high heavens. Chapter 11 of Third Enoch Read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Henceforth, the Holy One, blessed be He, revealed to me all the mysteries of Torah, and all the secrets of wisdom, and all the depths of the perfect law, and all living beings, thoughts of heart, and all the secrets of the universe, and all the secrets of creation were revealed unto me, even as they are revealed unto the Maker of creation. And I watched intently to behold the secrets of the depth, and the wonderful mystery. Before a man did think, I knew what was in his thought. And there was no thing, above on high, nor below, in the deep, hidden from me. Chapter 12 of Three Enoch Read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the prince of the presence said to me, By reason of the love, with which the Holy One, blessed be He, loved me more than all the children of heaven. He made me a garment of glory on which were fixed all kinds of lights. And He clad me in it. And He made me a robe of honor on which were fixed all kinds of beauty, splendor, brilliance and majesty. And He made me a royal crown in which were fixed forty-nine costly stones like unto the light of the globe of the sun for its splendor, went forth in the four quarters of the Araboth, Rekia, and in through, the seven heavens, and in the four quarters of the world. And he, put it on my head. And he called me, the lesser Yahweh, in the presence of all his heavenly household. As it is written, for my name is in him. Chapter 13, of Three Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heavens said to me, Because of the great love and mercy with which the Holy One, blessed be He, loved and cherished me, more than all the children of heaven, He wrote with His finger, with a flaming style, upon the crown on my head, the letters by which were created heaven and earth, the seas and rivers, the mountains and hills, the planets and constellations, the lightnings, winds, earthquakes and voices, the snow and hail, the storm wind and the tempest, the letters by which were created, all the needs of the world and all the orders of creation. And every single letter, sent forth time after time as it were lightnings, time after time as it were torches, Time after time, as it were flames of fire. Time after time. Rays, like as the rising of the sun, and the moon and the planets. Chapter 14, of Three Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me. When the Holy One, blessed be he, put this crown on my head. Then trembled before me all the princes of kingdoms who are in the height of Araboth, Rekia, 
and all the hosts of every heaven. And even the princes of the Elam, the princes of the Aralim, and the princes of the Tafsrim, who are greater than all the ministering angels who minister before the throne of glory, shook feared and trembled before me when they beheld me. Even Samael, the prince of the accusers, who is greater than all the princes of kingdoms on high, feared and trembled before me. And even the angel of fire, and the angel of hail, and the angel of the wind, and the angel of the lightning, and the angel of anger, and the angel of the thunder, and the angel of the snow, and the angel of the rain, and the angel of the day, and the angel of the night, and the angel of the sun, and the angel of the moon, and the angel of the planets, and the angel of the constellations, who rule the world under their hands, feared and trembled and were affrighted before me when they beheld me. These are the names of the rulers of the world. Gabriel, the angel of the fire. Baradiel, the angel of the hail. Rushiel, who is appointed over the wind. Barakiel, who is appointed over the lightnings. Zaamiel, who is appointed over the vehemence. Zikiel, who is appointed over the sparks. Zeal, who is appointed over the commotion. Zaafiel, who is appointed over the storm wind. Ra'amiel, who is appointed over the thunders. Ra'ashiel, who is appointed over the earthquake. Shulgiel, who is appointed over the snow. Materiel, who is appointed over the rain. Shimshiel, who is appointed over the day. Laliel, who is appointed over the night. Galgaliel, who is appointed over the globe of the sun. O Faniel, who is appointed over the globe of the moon. Coke by El, who is appointed over the planets. Ra'atil, who is appointed over the constellations. And they all fell prostrate when they saw me, and they were not able to behold me. Because of the majestic glory and beauty of the appearance of the shining light of the crown of glory upon my head. Chapter 15 of Three Enoch Read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heavens, said to me, As soon as the Holy One, blessed be he, took me in his service, to attend the throne of glory and the wheels of the Merkaba and the needs of Shekinah. Forthwith, my flesh was changed into flames, my sinews into flaming fire, my bones into coals of burning juniper, the light of my eyelids into splendor of lightnings, my eyeballs into firebrands, the hair of my head into hot flames, all my limbs into wings of burning fire and the whole of my body into glowing fire. And on my right were divisions of fiery flames. On my left firebrands were burning. Round about me storm wind and tempest were blowing. And in front of me, and behind me, was roaring of thunder with earthquake. Addition to Chapter 15 The Fragment of Ascension of Moses this section of chapter 15 is omitted from most versions. Rabbi Ishmael said, Said, to me Metatron, the prince of the presence, and the prince over all the princes, and he stands before him who is greater than all, the Elohim. And he goes in under, the throne of glory. And he has a great tabernacle of light on high and he brings forth the fire of deafness, and puts it into the ears of the holy Chaoth, that they may not hear the voice of the word that goes forth from the mouth of the divine majesty. And when Moses ascended on high, he fasted 121 fasts, till the habitations of the Kashmal were opened to him. And he saw the heart within the heart of the lion. 
and he saw the innumerable companies of the hosts around about him. And they desired to burn him. But Moses prayed for mercy, first for Israel and after that, for himself. And he who sitteth on the Merkabah opened the windows that are above the heads of the cherubim. And a host of eighteen hundred advocates and the prince of the presence Metatron, with them, went forth to meet Moses. And they took the prayers of Israel, and put them as a crown on the head of the Holy One, blessed be he. And they said, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one, Lord. And their face shone and rejoiced over Shekinah. And they said to Metatron, What are these? And to whom do they give all this honor and glory? And they answered, To the glorious Lord of Israel. And they spake, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord, to whom shall be given abundance of honor and majesty. But to thee, Yahweh, the divine majesty, the King, living and eternal. In that moment spake, Akatriel, Yah, Yihad, Sebaoth, and said, To Metatron the Prince of the Presence, Let no prayer that he prayeth before me return to him void. Hear thou his prayer and fulfill his desire, whether it be great or small. Forthwith, Metatron, the Prince of the Presence, said to Moses, Son of Amram, fear not, for now God delights in thee. And ask thou you thy desire of the glory and majesty. For thy face shines from one end of the world to the other. But Moses answered him, I fear, lest I bring guiltiness upon myself. Metatron said to him, Receive the letters of the oath, in, by, which there is no breaking the covenant. Which precludes any breach of the covenant. Chapter 16 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heaven, said to me. At first, I was sitting upon a great throne at the door of the seventh hall. And I was judging the children of heaven, the household on high, by authority of the Holy One, blessed be he. And I divided greatness, kingship, dignity, rulership, honor and praise, and diadem and crown of glory, unto all the princes of kingdoms, while I was presiding in the celestial court. And the princes of kingdoms were standing before me, on my right and on my left by authority of the Holy One, blessed be he. But when Acre came to behold the vision of the Merkabah, and fixed his eyes on me, he feared and trembled before me, and his soul was affrighted, even unto departing from him. Because of fear, horror and dread of me, when he beheld me sitting upon a throne, like a king with all the ministering angels, standing by me as my servants, and all the princes of kingdoms adorned with crowns surrounding me. In that moment, he opened his mouth and said, Indeed, there are two divine powers in heaven, Forthwith, Bath Call, the divine voice, went forth from heaven from before the Shekinah and said, Return, ye backsliding children, except Acre. Then came Annie Yell, the prince, the honored, glorified, beloved, wonderful, revered, and fearful one, in commission from the Holy One, blessed be he and gave me sixty strokes with lashes of fire, and made me stand on my feet. Chapter 17 of Three Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron The angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heavens, said to me, Seven are the princes. The great, beautiful, revered, wonderful and honored ones, who are appointed over the seven heavens. And these are they. Michael and Gabriel. Shachiel and Baradiel. And Shachikiel and Barakiel and Sidriel. 
and every one of them is the prince of the host of one heaven. And each one of them is accompanied by 496,000 myriads of ministering angels. Michael, the great prince, is appointed over the seventh heaven. The highest one which is in, the air both. Gabriel, the prince of the host, is appointed over the sixth heaven, which is in Macon. Shatakiel, prince of the host, is appointed over the fifth heaven, which is in Ma'an. Shahakiel, prince of the host, is appointed over the fourth heaven, which is in Zebul. Bedariel, prince of the host, is appointed over the third heaven, which is in Shahakim. Barakiel, prince of the host, is appointed over the second heaven, which is in the height of Meram. Pazriel, prince of the host, is appointed over the first heaven, which is in Wylan, which is in Shemaim. Under them is Gal Galil, the prince who is appointed over the globe of the sun. And with him are ninety six great and honored angels who move the sun in Rakia. Under them is Ophaniel, the prince who is set over the globe of the moon. And with him are eighty-eight angels, who move the globe of the moon. Three hundred and fifty-four thousand parasangs every night, at the time when the moon stands in the east, at its turning point. And when is, the moon sitting in the east at its turning point? Answer. In the fifteenth day, of every month. Under them is Rahatil, the prince who is appointed over the constellations. And he is accompanied by seventy-two great and honored angels. And why is he called Rahatil? Because he makes the stars run, in their orbits and courses, 339,000 parasangs. Every night from the east to the west, and from the west to the east. For the Holy One, blessed be he, has made a tent for all of them. For the sun, the moon, the planets and the stars, in which they travel at night, from the west to the east. Under them is Kokbeel, the prince who is appointed over all the planets. And with him are 365,000 myriads of ministering angels. Great and honored ones, who move the planets, from city to city, and from province to province, in the Reikia of heavens. And over them are seventy-two princes of kingdoms on high, corresponding to the seventy-two tongues of the world. And all of them are crowned with royal crowns, and clad in royal garments, and wrapped in royal cloaks. And all of them are riding on royal horses, and they are holding royal scepters in their hands. And before each one of them, when he is traveling, in Reikia, royal servants are running, with great glory and majesty. Even as on earth, they are traveling in chariots with horsemen, and great armies, and in glory and greatness, with praise, song, and honor. Chapter 18 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said. Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heaven, said to me. The angels of the first heaven, whenever they see their prince, they dismount from their horses and fall on their faces. And the prince of the first heaven, when he sees the prince of the second heaven, he dismounts, removes the crown of glory from his head, and falls on his face. And the prince of the second heaven. When he sees the prince of the third heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And the prince of the third heaven. When he sees the prince of the fourth heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And the prince of the fourth heaven. When he sees the prince of the fifth heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And the prince of the fifth heaven. When he sees 
the prince of the sixth heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head, and falls on his face. And the prince of the sixth heaven. When he sees, the prince of the seventh heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head, and falls, on his face. And the prince of the seventh heaven. When he sees the seventy-two princes of kingdoms, he removes, the crown of glory from his head, and falls on his face. And the seventy-two princes of kingdoms, when they see, the doorkeepers of the first hall in the Araboth Rachia in the highest, they remove the royal crown from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the first hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the second hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the second hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the third hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the third hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the fourth hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the fourth hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the fifth hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the fifth hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the sixth hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the sixth hall, when they see the doorkeepers of the seventh hall, they remove the crown of glory from their head and fall on their faces. And the doorkeepers of the seventh hall, when they see the four great princes, the honored ones, who, are appointed, over the four camps of Shekinah, they remove the crowns of glory from their heads, and fall on their faces. And the four great princes. When they see Tagus, the prince, great and honored with song and praise, at the head, of children of heaven. They remove, the crown of glory from their heads, and fall, on their faces. And Tagus, the great and honored prince, when he sees Barat Tiael, the great prince of three fingers in the height of Araboth, the highest heaven, he removes the crown of glory, from his head, and falls on his face. And Barat Teal, the great prince. When he sees Haman, the great prince, the fearful and honored, pleasant and terrible one, who maketh all the children of heaven to tremble. When the time draweth nigh for the saying of the thrice holy, as it is written, At the noise of the tumult the peoples are fled. At the lifting up of thyself the nations are scattered. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Haman, the great prince. When he sees to tree seal the great prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And to tree seal, the great prince, when he sees a true geal, the great prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And a true geal, the great prince, when he sees Nararirial, the great prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Nararirial, the great prince, when he sees Sasnigial, the great prince he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Sasnigial, when he sees Zazriel, the great prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Zazriel, the prince. When he sees Jeburatil, the prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Jeburatil, the prince. When he sees Araphiel, the prince, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Araphiel the prince. When he sees Ashruilo, the prince, who presides in all the sessions of the children of heaven, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Ashruilo, the prince, when he sees Galaser, the prince, who reveals all the secrets of the law. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Galaser the prince. When he sees Saxakiel, the prince, who is appointed to write down the merits of Israel on the throne of glory. 
he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And Zaxikiel the great prince. When he sees Anaphiel, the prince, who keeps the keys of the heavenly halls. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. Why is he called by the name of Anaphiel? Because the bow of his honor and majesty. And his crown and his splendor. And his brilliance covers all the chambers of Araboth Rachia on high, even as the maker of the world doth overshadow them. Just as it is written with regard to the maker of the world. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. Even so, do the honor and majesty of Anaphiel cover all the glories of Araboth, the highest. And when he sees Sothar, Ashiel, the prince, the great, fearful and honored one, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. Why is he called Sothar Ashiel? Because he is appointed over the four heads of the fiery river over against the throne of glory. And every single prince who goes out or enters before the Shekinah, goes out or enters only by his permission. For the seals of the fiery river are entrusted to him. And furthermore, his height is seven thousand myriads of parasangs. And he stirs up the fire of the river. And he goes out and enters before the Shekinah to expound what is written concerning the inhabitants of the world. According as it is written, the judgment was set and the books were opened. And Sothar, Ashiel, the prince, when he sees Shaked Kozi, the great prince, the mighty, terrible, and honored one, he removes the crown of glory from his head and falls upon his face. And why is he called Shaked Kozi? Because he weighs all the merits of man in a balance in the presence of the Holy One, blessed be he. And when he sees Zehen Puryu, the great prince, the mighty and terrible one, honored, glorified and feared in all the heavenly household. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. Why is he called Zehen Puryu? Because he rebukes the fiery river and pushes it back to its place. And when he sees as Buga, the great prince, glorified, revered, honored, adorned, wonderful, exalted, beloved, and feared among all the great princes who know the mystery of the throne of glory. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. Why is he called as Buga? Because in the future he will gird the righteous and pious of the world with the garments of life, and wrap them in the cloak of life, that they may live in them an eternal life. And when he sees the two great princes, the strong and glorified ones, who are standing above him. He removes the crown of glory from his head and falls on his face. And these are the names of the two princes. Sophiriel, who killeth. The great prince, the honored, glorified, blameless, venerable, ancient and mighty one. And Sophiriel, who maketh alive the great prince, the honored, glorified, blameless, ancient and mighty one. Why is he called Sophiriel who killeth? Because he is appointed over the books of the dead. So that everyone, when the day of his death draws nigh, he writes him in the books of the dead. Why is he called Sophiriel who maketh alive? Because he is appointed over the books of the living so that every one whom the Holy One, blessed be he, will bring into life. He writes him, in the Book of the Living, by authority of Makum. Thou might perhaps say, Since the Holy One, blessed be he, is sitting on a throne, they also, are sitting when writing. Answer. The Scripture teaches us. And all the host of heaven are standing by him. 
The host of heaven, it is said, in order to show us, that even the great princes, none like whom there is in the high heavens, do not fulfill the requests of the Shekinah otherwise than standing. But how is it they are able to write, when they are standing? It is like this. One is standing on the wheels of the tempest, and the other is standing on the wheels of the storm wind. The one is clad in kingly garments, the other is clad in kingly garments. The one is wrapped in a mantle of majesty, and the other is wrapped in a mantle of majesty. The one is crowned with a royal crown, and the other is crowned with a royal crown. The one's body is full of eyes, and the other's body is full of eyes. The appearance of one is like unto the appearance of lightnings, and the appearance of the other is like unto the appearance of lightnings. The eyes of the one are like the sun in its might, and the eyes of the other are like the sun in its might. The one's height is like the height of the seven heavens, and the other's height is like the height of the seven heavens. The wings of the one are as many as the days of the year, and the wings of the other are as many as the days of the year. The wings of the one extend over the breadth of Rakia, and the wings of the other extend over the breadth of Rakia. The lips of the one are as the gates of the east, and the lips of the other are as the gates of the east. The tongue of the one is as high as the waves of the sea, and the tongue of the other is as high as the waves of the sea. From the mouth of the one a flame goes forth, and from the mouth of the other a flame goes forth. From the mouth of the one there go forth lightnings, and from the mouth of the other there go forth lightnings. From the sweat of the one fire is kindled and from the perspiration, of the other, fire is kindled. From the one's tongue, a torch is burning. And from the tongue, of the other, a torch, is burning. On the head of the one, there is a sapphire stone. And upon the head of the other, there is, a sapphire, stone. On the shoulders, of the one, there is a wheel of a swift cherub and on the shoulders of the other there is a wheel of a swift cherub. One has in his hand a burning scroll, the other has in his hand a burning scroll. The one has in his hand a flaming style. The other has in his hand a flaming style. The length of the scroll is three thousand myriads of parasangs. The size of the style is three thousand myriads of parasangs. The size of every single letter that they write is three hundred and sixty-five parasangs. Chapter 19 of Third Enoch Read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Above these three angels, these great princes, there is one prince. Distinguished, honored, noble, glorified, adorned. Fearful, valiant, strong, great. Magnified, glorious, crowned. Wonderful, exalted, blameless, beloved. Lordly. High and lofty. Ancient and mighty like unto whom there is none among the princes. His name is Rikbael, the great and revered prince who is standing by the Merkaba. And why is he called Rikbael? Because he is appointed over the wheels of the Merkaba, and they are given in his charge. And how many are the wheels? Eight. Two, in each direction. And there are four winds, compassing them round about. And these are their names. The storm wind. The tempest. The strong wind, and the wind of earthquake. 
and under them four fiery rivers are continually running, one fiery river on each side. And round about them between the rivers, four, clouds, are planted. And these they are. Clouds of fire, clouds of lamps, clouds of coal, clouds of brimstone. And they are standing over against, their wheels. And the feet of the Chayoth, are resting upon the wheels. And between one wheel, and the other, earthquake is roaring. And thunder is thundering. And when the time draws nigh, for the recital of the song. Then the multitudes of wheels, are moved. The multitude of clouds, tremble. All the chieftains are made afraid. All the horsemen, do rage. All the mighty ones are excited, all, the hosts are affrighted. All the troops are in fear. All the appointed ones, haste away. All the princes, and armies, are dismayed. All the servants do faint. And all the angels and divisions travail with pain. And one wheel, makes a sound to be heard to the other. And one cherub to another. One cheya, to another. One seraph to another, saying, Extol to him that rideth in error both, by his name Yah. And rejoice before him. Chapter 20 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Above these, there is one great and mighty prince. His name is Cheiel, a noble and revered prince, a glorious and mighty prince, a great and revered prince, a prince before whom all the children of heaven do tremble, a prince who is able to swallow up the whole earth in one moment. And why is he called Cheiel? Because he is appointed over the holy Chayoth and smites the Chayoth with lashes of fire. And glorifies them when they give praise and glory and rejoicing. And he causes them to make haste to say holy. And blessed be the glory of Yah from his place. Chapter 21 of 3rd Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said. Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Four are the Chayoth, corresponding to the four winds. Each Chaya is as the space of the whole world. And each one has four faces. And each face is as the face of the east. Each one has four wings, and each wing is like the cover of the universe. And each one has faces, in the middle of faces, and wings in the middle of wings. The size of the faces is as the size of 248 faces. And the size of the wings is as the size of 365 wings. And every one is crowned with 2,000 crowns on his head. And each crown is like unto the bow in the cloud. And its splendor is like unto the splendor of the globe of the sun. And the sparks that go forth from every one are like the splendor of the morning star in the east. Chapter 22 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Above these, there is one prince. Noble, wonderful, strong, and praised, with all kinds of praise. His name is Cherubiel, a mighty prince, full of power and strength. A prince of highness. And with him there is a righteous prince of righteousness. And with him a holy prince, of holiness. And with him there is a prince, glorified by thousand hosts, exalted by ten thousand armies. At his wrath, the earth trembles. At his anger, the camps are moved. From fear of him, the foundations are shaken. At his rebuke, 
the error both, do tremble. His stature is full of burning coals. The height of his stature is as the height of the seven heavens. The breadth of his stature is as the wideness of the seven heavens. And the thickness of his stature is as the seven heavens. The opening of his mouth is like a lamp of fire. His tongue is a consuming fire. His eyebrows are like unto the splendor of the lightning. His eyes are like sparks of brilliance. His countenance is like a burning fire. And there is a crown of holiness upon his head, on which the explicit name is graven. And lightnings go forth from it. And the bow of Shekinah is between his shoulders. And his sword is like unto a lightning. And upon his loins there are arrows like unto a flame. And upon his armor and shield there is a consuming fire. And upon his neck there are coals of burning juniper. And also, round about him, there are coals of burning juniper. And the splendor of Shekinah is on his face. And the horns of majesty on his wheels. And a royal diadem upon his skull. And his body is full of eyes. And wings are covering the whole of his high stature. On his right hand a flame is burning, and on his left a fire is glowing, and coals are burning from it, and firebrands go forth from his body, and lightnings are cast forth from his face. With him there is alway, thunder upon thunder. By his side there is ever earthquake upon earthquake. And the two princes of the Merkaba, are together with him. Why is he called Cherubiel the prince? Because he is appointed over the chariot of the cherubim, and the mighty cherubim are given in his charge. And he adorns the crowns on their heads and polishes the diadem upon their skull. He magnifies the glory of their appearance, and he glorifies the beauty of their majesty and he increases the greatness of their honor. He causes the song of their praise to be sung. He intensifies their beautiful strength. He causes the brilliance of their glory to shine forth. He beautifies their goodly mercy and loving kindness. He frames the fairness of their radiance. He makes their merciful beauty even more beautiful. He glorifies their upright majesty. He extols the order of their praise to establish the dwelling place of him who dwelleth on the cherubim. And the cherubim are standing by the holy Chaoth, and their wings are raised up to their heads. And Shekinah is resting upon them, and the brilliance of the glory is upon their faces. And song and praise in their mouth. And their hands are under their wings and their feet are covered by their wings. And horns of glory are upon their heads, and the splendor of Shekinah on their face. And Shekinah is resting upon them. And sapphire stones are round about them, and columns of fire on their four sides, and columns of firebrands beside them. There is one sapphire on one side and another sapphire on another side. And under the sapphires there are coals of burning juniper. And one cherub is standing in each direction. But the wings of the cherubim compass each other above their skulls in glory. And they spread them, to sing with them, a song to him that inhabiteth the clouds. And to praise with them the fearful majesty of the king of kings. And Cherubiel, the prince, who is appointed over them. He arrays them in comely, beautiful and pleasant orders, and he exalts them in all manner of exaltation, dignity and glory. And he hastens them in glory and might to do the will of their Creator every moment.
For above their lofty heads abides continually the glory of the High King, who dwelleth on the cherubim. Addition to Chapter 22 of Third Enoch Read by 31 Pearls This section has been omitted in many versions of this book. And there is a court before the throne of glory, which no seraph nor angel can enter. And it is thirty-six thousand myriads of parasangs, as it is written. And the seraphim are standing above him. The last word of the scriptural passage being Lamech Vav. Numerical value, thirty-six. As the numerical value, Lamech Vav, thirty-six, the number of the bridges there. And there are twenty-four myriads of wheels of fire. And the ministering angels are twelve thousand myriads. And there are twelve thousand rivers of hail, and twelve thousand treasuries of snow. And in the seven halls are chariots of fire and flames, without reckoning, or end, or searching. Rabbi Ishmael said to me, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, How are the angels, standing on high? Like a bridge, that is placed over a river, so that every one can pass over it. Likewise a bridge is placed, from the beginning of the entry to the end. And three ministering angels surround it, and utter a song before Yahweh, the God of Israel. And there, are standing before it, lords of dread, and captains of fear. Thousand, times thousand, and ten thousand, times ten thousand in number. And they sing praise and hymns before Yahweh, the God of Israel. Numerous bridges are there. Bridges of fire and numerous bridges, of hail. Also, numerous rivers of hail, numerous, treasuries, of snow, and numerous wheels of fire. And how many are the ministering angels? Twelve thousand myriads. Six thousand myriads above and six thousand myriads below. And twelve thousand are the treasuries of snow, six above and six below. And twenty-four myriads of wheels of fire. Twelve myriads above and twelve myriads below. And they surround the bridges, and the rivers of fire, and the rivers of hail. And there are numerous, ministering angels, forming entries for all the creatures that are standing in the midst thereof, corresponding to, over against, the paths of Rekia Shemayim. What doeth Yahweh, the God of Israel, the King of glory? The great and fearful God, mighty in strength, doth cover his face. In Araboth are six hundred and sixty thousand myriads of angels of glory standing over against the throne of glory and the divisions of flaming fire. And the king of glory doth cover his face. For else the Araboth Rachia would be rent asunder in its midst because of the majesty, splendor, beauty, radiance, loveliness, brilliancy, brightness and excellency of the appearance of the Holy One, blessed be He. There are numerous ministering angels, performing His will. Numerous kings, numerous princes, in the era both of His delight. Angels who are revered among the rulers in heaven. Distinguished, adorned with song and bringing love to remembrance. Who are affrighted by the splendor of the Shekinah and their eyes are dazzled by the shining beauty of their king. Their faces grow black, and their strength doth fail. There go forth rivers of joy, streams of gladness, rivers of rejoicing, streams of triumph, rivers of love, streams of friendship, of commotion, and they flow over and go forth before the throne of glory and wax great, and go through the gates of the paths of Araboth Rachia, at the voice of the shouting and music of the Chaoth, at the voice of the rejoicing of the timbrels of his Ophanim, 
and at the melody of the cymbals of his cherubim. And they wax great, and go forth with commotion with the sound of the hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the prince of the presence said to me, What is the distance between one bridge and another? Twelve myriads of parasangs. Their ascent is myriads of parasangs, and their descent, myriads of parasangs. The distance between the rivers of dread and the rivers of fear is twenty-two myriads of parasangs. Between the rivers of hail and the rivers of darkness, thirty-six myriads of parasangs. Between the chambers of lightnings and the clouds of compassion, forty-two myriads of parasangs. Between the clouds of compassion and the Merkaba, eighty-four myriads of parasangs. Between the Merkaba and the Cherubim, one hundred and forty-eight myriads of parasangs. Between the Cherubim and the Ophanim, twenty-four myriads of parasangs. Between the Ophanim and the Chambers of Chambers, twenty-four myriads of parasangs. Between the Chambers of Chambers, and the holy Chaoth. Forty thousand myriads of parasangs. Between one wing of the Chaoth and another, twelve myriads of parasangs. And the breadth of each one wing is of that same measure. And the distance between the holy Chaoth and the throne of glory is thirty thousand myriads of parasangs. And from the foot of the throne to the seat, there are forty thousand myriads of parasangs. And the name of him that sitteth on it, let the name be sanctified. And the arches of the Bosva are set above the Araboth. And they are one thousand, thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousands of parasangs high. Their measure is after the measure of the iron and Kaddishin. That is the watchers and the holy ones. As it is written, My bow, I have set in the cloud. It is not written here, I will, set. But I have, set, already, clouds, that surround the throne of glory. As his clouds pass by, the angels of hail, turn into, burning coal. And a fire of the voice, goes down from by the holy Chaoth. And because of the breath of that voice they run to another place, fearing lest it command them to go, and they return lest it injure them from the other side. Therefore they run and return. And these arches of the bow are more beautiful and radiant than the radiance of the sun during the summer solstice. And they are whiter than a flaming fire. And they are great and beautiful. Above the arches of the bow are the wheels of the Ophanim. Their height is one thousand, thousand, and ten thousand times ten thousand units of measure after the measure of the seraphim and the troops. Chapter 23 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, There are numerous winds blowing under the wings of the cherubim. There blows, the brooding, wind, as it is written, and the wind of God was brooding upon the face of the waters. There blows the strong wind, as it is said. And the Lord caused the sea to go back, by a strong east wind, all that night. There blows the east wind, as it is written. The east wind brought the locusts. There blows the wind of quails, as it is written. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails. There blows the wind of jealousy, as it is written. And the wind of jealousy came upon him. There blows the wind of earthquake, as it is written. And after that, the wind of the earthquake. But the Lord 
was not in the earthquake. There blows the wind of Yah, as it is written. And he carried me out by the wind of Yah and set me down. There blows the evil wind. As it is written. And the evil wind departed from him. There blow the wind of wisdom, and the wind of understanding, and the wind of knowledge, and the wind of the fear of Yahweh, as it is written. And the wind of Yahweh shall rest upon him. The wind of wisdom and understanding, the wind of counsel and might, the wind of knowledge and of the fear. There blows the wind of rain, as it is written. The north wind bringeth forth rain. There blows the wind of lightnings, as it is written. He maketh lightnings for the rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries. There blows the wind, breaking the rocks. As it is written, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break in pieces the rocks, before the Lord. There blows the wind of assuagement of the sea, as it is written. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged. There blows the wind of wrath, as it is written. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell. There blows the storm wind, as it is written. Storm wind, fulfilling his word. And Satan is standing among these winds, for storm wind is nothing else but Satan. And all these winds do not blow, but under the wings of the cherubim, as it is written. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, yea, and he flew swiftly, upon the wings of the wind. And whither go all these winds? The scripture teaches us that they go out from under the wings of the cherubim, and descend on the globe of the sun, as it is written. The wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It turneth about continually in its course, and the wind returneth again to its circuits. And from the globe of the sun, they return and descend upon the rivers and the seas, upon the mountains and upon the hills, as it is written. For lo, he that formeth the mountains and createth the wind. And from the mountains and the hills, they return and descend to the seas and the rivers. And from the seas and the rivers, they return and descend upon the cities and provinces. And from the cities and provinces, they return and descend into the garden. And from the garden, they return and descend to Eden as it is written, walking in the garden, in the wind of day. And in the midst of the garden, they join together, and blow from one side to the other, and are perfumed with the spices of the garden, even from its remotest parts, until they separate from each other. And filled with the scent of the pure spices, they bring the odor from the remotest parts of Eden and the spices of the garden to the righteous and godly, who in the time to come shall inherit the garden of Eden and the tree of life, as it is written. Awake, O north wind, and come thou south. Blow upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden and eat his precious fruits. Chapter 24 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heaven, said to me, Numerous chariots has the Holy One, blessed be he. He has the chariots of the cherubim, as it is written, and he rode upon a cherub and did fly. He has the chariots of wind, as it is written. And he flew swiftly upon the wings of the wind. He has the chariots of the swift cloud. As it is written, Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. 
he has the chariots of clouds as it is written. Lo, I come unto thee in a cloud. He has the chariots of the altar as it is written. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar. He has the chariots of Ribbetayam. As it is written. The chariots of God are Ribbetayam, thousands of angels. He has the chariots of the tent, as it is written. And the Lord appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud. He has the chariots of the tabernacle, as it is written. And the Lord spake unto him out of the tabernacle. He has the chariots of the mercy seat, as it is written. Then he heard the voice speaking unto him from upon the mercy seat. He has the chariots of sapphire stone, as it is written. And there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of sapphire stone. He has the chariots of eagles, as it is written. I bear you on eagles' wings. Eagles, literally, are not meant here. But they, that fly, swiftly as eagles. He has the chariots of shout. As it is written, God is gone up with a shout. He has the chariots of Araboth, as it is written. Extol him that rideth upon the Araboth. He has the chariots of thick clouds, as it is written. Who maketh the thick clouds his chariot? He has the chariots of the Chaoth. As it is written. And the Chaoth ran and returned. They run by permission and return by permission, for Shekinah is above their heads. He has the chariots of wheels, as it is written. And he said, Go in between the whirling wheels. He has the chariots of a swift cherub, as it is written, riding on a swift cherub. And at the time when he rides on a swift cherub, as he sets one of his feet upon him. Before he sets the other foot upon his back, he looks through eighteen thousand worlds at one glance. And he discerns and sees into them all. And knows what is in all of them. And then he sets down the other foot upon him, according as it is written. Round about eighteen thousand. Whence do we know? that he looks through every one of them every day. It is written. He looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek after God. He has the chariots of the Ophanim. As it is written. And the Ophanim were full of eyes round about. He has the chariots of his holy throne, as it is written, God sitteth upon his holy throne. He has the chariots of the throne of Yah, as it is written. Because a hand is lifted up upon the throne of Yah. He has the chariots of the throne of judgment, as it is written, but the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. He has the chariots of the throne of glory, as it is written, the throne of glory, set on high from the beginning, is the place of our sanctuary. He has the chariots of the high and exalted throne, as it is written. I saw the Lord sitting upon the high and exalted throne. Chapter 25 of 3 Enoch read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me. Above these there is one, great prince. Revered, high, lordly, fearful, ancient and strong. O Faniel is his name. He has sixteen faces. Four, faces on each side, also, hundred wings on each side and he has 8,466 eyes, corresponding to the days of the year. 2,190, and some say, 2,116, on each side. And those two eyes of his face. In each one of them lightnings are flashing. And from each one of them, firebrands are burning. 
and no creature is able to behold them. For anyone who looks at them is burned instantly. His height is as the distance of 2,500 years' journey. No eye can behold, and no mouth can tell the mighty power of his strength, save the King of kings, the Holy One, blessed be he alone. Why is he called Ophaniel? Because he is appointed over the Ophanim, and the Ophanim are given in his charge. He stands every day and attends and beautifies them. And he exalts and orders their apartment and polishes their standing place, and makes bright their dwellings, makes their corners even, and cleanses their seats. And he waits upon them early and late, by day and by night, to increase their beauty, to make great their dignity, and to make them diligent in praise of their Creator. And all the Ophanim are full of eyes, and they are all full of brightness. Seventy-two sapphire stones are fixed on their garments on their right side and seventy-two sapphire stones are fixed on their garments on their left side. And four carbuncle stones are fixed on the crown of every single one, the splendor of which proceeds in the four directions of Araboth. Even as the splendor of the globe of the sun proceeds in all the directions of the universe. And why is it called carbuncle? Because its splendor is like the appearance of a lightning. And tens of splendor, tens of brilliance, tens of brightness, as of sapphire and carbuncle, enclose them because of the shining appearance of their eyes. Chapter 26 of Third Enoch Read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence said to me, Above these there is one prince, wonderful, noble, great, honorable, mighty, terrible, a chief and leader, and a swift scribe, glorified, honored, and beloved. He is altogether filled with splendor, full of praise and shining. And he is holy, full of brilliance, of light and of beauty and the whole of him is filled with goodliness and greatness. His countenance is altogether like that of angels, but his body is like an eagle's body. His splendor is like unto lightnings. His appearance like firebrands. His beauty like unto sparks. His honor like fiery coals. His majesty like cashmoles his radiance like the light of the planet Venus. The image of him is like unto the greater light. His height is as the seven heavens. The light from his eyebrows is like the sevenfold light. The sapphire stone upon his head is as great as the whole universe, and like unto the splendor of the very heavens in radiance. His body is full of eyes, like the stars of the sky, innumerable and unsearchable. Every eye is like the planet Venus. Yet there are some of them like the lesser light, and some of them like unto the greater light. From his ankles to his knees, they are like unto stars of lightning. From his knees to his thighs, like unto the planet Venus from his thighs to his loins, like unto the moon, from his loins to his neck, like the sun, from his neck to his skull, like unto the light, imperishable. The crown on his head is like unto the splendor of the throne of glory. The measure of the crown is the distance of five hundred and two years' journey. There is no kind of splendor, no kind of brilliance, no kind of radiance, no kind of light in the universe, but is fixed on that crown. The name of that prince is Seraphiel. 
and the crown on his head, its name, is the Prince of Peace. And why is he called by the name of Seraphiel? Because he is appointed over the seraphim. And the flaming seraphim are given in his charge. And he presides over them, by day and by night. And teaches them song, praise, proclamation of beauty, might and majesty. That they may proclaim the beauty of their king, in all manner, of praise and sanctification. How many are the seraphim? Four. Corresponding to the four winds of the world. And how many wings have they each one of them? Six. Corresponding to the six days of creation. And how many faces have they? Each one of them, four, faces. The measure of the seraphim and the height of each one of them correspond to the height of the seven heavens. The size of each wing is like the measure of all rakia. The size of each face is like that of the face of the east. And each one of them gives forth light like unto the splendor of the throne of glory. So that not even the holy Chayoth, the honored Ophanim, nor the majestic Cherubim are able to behold it. For everyone who beholds it, his eyes are darkened because of its great splendor. Why are they called seraphim? Because they burn the writing tables of Satan. Every day, Satan is sitting, together with Samael, the prince of Rome, and with Dubiel, the prince of Persia. And they write the iniquities of Israel on writing tables, which they hand over to the seraphim, in order that they may present them before the Holy One, blessed be he, so that he may destroy Israel from the world. But the seraphim know from the secrets of the Holy One, blessed be he, that he desires not that this people Israel should perish. What do the seraphim do? Every day, do they receive them from the hand of Satan, and burn them in the burning fire over against the high and exalted throne, in order that they may not come before the Holy One, blessed be He, at the time when He is sitting upon the throne of judgment, judging the whole world in truth. Chapter 27 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel of Yahweh, the prince of the presence, said to me, Above the seraphim there is one prince, exalted above all the princes, wondrous more than all the servants. His name is Radwariel, who is appointed over the treasuries of the books. He fetches forth the case of writings with the book of records in it, and brings it before the Holy One, blessed be he. And he breaks the seals of the case, opens it, takes out the books, and delivers them before the Holy One, blessed be he. And the Holy One, blessed be he, receives them of his hand, and gives them in his sight to the scribes, that they may read them in the great Beth Din, in the height of Araboth, Rakia, before the heavenly household. And why is he called Radwariel? Because out of every word that goes forth from his mouth, an angel is created. And he stands in the singing company of the ministering angels, and utters a song before the Holy One, Blessed be He. When the time draws nigh for the recitation of the thrice holy. Chapter 28 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Above all these, there are four great princes, Irin, and Kadashin, by name, high honored, revered, beloved, wonderful and glorious ones, greater than all the children of heaven, 
There is, none like unto them, among all the celestial princes. And none, their equal, among all the servants. For each one of them, is equal to all the rest, together. And their dwelling is over against, the throne of glory. And their standing place over against the Holy One, blessed be He. So that the brilliance of their dwelling is a reflection of the brilliance of the throne of glory. And the splendor, of their countenance, is a reflection of the splendor, of Shekinah. And they are glorified, by the glory, of the divine majesty. And praised by the praise of Shekinah. And not only that. But the Holy One, blessed be He, does nothing in His world, without first consulting them. But after that, He doeth it. As it is written, the sentence is by the decree of the Irin, and the demand, by the word of the Kaddishan. The Irin, are two, and the Kaddishan, are two. And how are they standing before the Holy One, blessed be He? It is to be understood that, one ire is standing on one side, and the other ire on the other side. And one Kadesh is standing on one side, and the other on the other side. And ever do they exalt the humble. And they abase to the ground those that are proud. And they exalt to the height those that are humble. And every day, as the Holy One, blessed be He, is sitting upon the throne of judgment, and judges the whole world, and the books of the living, and the books of the dead, are open before Him. Then, all the children of heaven, are standing before Him in fear, dread, awe, and trembling. At that time, when the Holy One, blessed be He, is sitting upon the throne of judgment to execute judgment. His garment is white as snow, the hair on His head as pure wool, and the whole of His cloak is like the shining light. And he is covered with righteousness all over, as with a coat of mail. And those, Irin and Kaddishan, are standing before him, like court officers before the judge. And they raise, and argue, every case, and close the case, that comes before the Holy One, blessed be he, in judgment. According, as it is written. The sentence is by the decree, of the Irin, and the demand, by the word of the Kaddishan. Some of them argue, and others pass the sentence in the great Beth Din in Araboth. Some of them make the requests from before the Divine Majesty, and some close the cases before the Most High. Others finish by going down and executing the sentences on earth below. According, as it is written, Behold an ire and a kadish came down from heaven, and cried aloud and said thus, Hew down the tree, and cut off his branches. Shake off his leaves, and scatter his fruit. Let the beasts get away from under it, and the fowls from his branches. Why, are they called Irin? And Kaddishin? By reason, that they sanctify the body and the spirit. With lashes of fire on the third day of the judgment. As it is written, after two days will he revive us. On the third, he will raise us up. And we shall live before him. Chapter 29 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence said to me. Each one of them has seventy names, corresponding, to the seventy tongues of the world. And all of them are based upon the name of the Holy One, blessed be He. And every several name is written with a flaming style. Upon the fearful crown, which is on the head, of the high, and exalted, King. And from each one of them there go forth, sparks and lightnings. And each one of them is beset, with horns of splendor, round about. 
From each one, lights are shining forth. And each one is surrounded by tents of brilliance. So that not even the seraphim and the chayoth, who are greater than all the children of heaven, are able to behold them. Chapter 30 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Whenever the great, Beth Din, is seated in the Araboth Rakia on high, there is no opening of the mouth for anyone in the world, save those great princes who are called Yahweh by the name of the Holy One, blessed be he. How many are those princes? Seventy-two princes of the kingdoms of the world. Besides the prince of the world, who speaks in favor of the world before the Holy One, blessed be he, every day. At the hour when the book is opened in which are recorded all the doings of the world. According as it is written, the judgment was set and the books were opened. Chapter 31 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, At the time when the Holy One, blessed be he, is sitting on the throne of judgment, then justice is standing on his right, and mercy on his left, and truth before his face. And when man enters before him, to judgment, then there comes forth, from the splendor of the mercy towards him, as it were, a staff, and stands in front of him. Forthwith, man falls upon his face, and all the angels of destruction, fear, and tremble before him, according as it is written. And with mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it, in truth. Chapter 32 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, When the Holy One blessed be he, opens the book, half of which is fire, and half flame. Then they go out from before him in every moment, to execute the judgment on the wicked. By his sword, that is drawn forth, out of its sheath and the splendor of which shines like a lightning, and pervades the world from one end to the other, as it is written. For by fire will the Lord plead, and by his sword with all flesh. And all the inhabitants of the world fear and tremble before him. When they behold his sharpened sword, like unto a lightning, from one end of the world to the other, and sparks and flashes of the size of the stars of Rakia, going out from it. According as it is written, If I wet the lightning of my sword. Chapter 33 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, At the time that the Holy One blessed be he is sitting on the throne of judgment. Then the angels of mercy are standing on his right. The angels of peace are standing on his left. And the angels of destruction are standing in front of him. And one scribe is standing beneath him and another scribe above him. And the glorious seraphim surround the throne on its four sides. With walls of lightnings and the Ophanim surround them with firebrands round about the throne of glory. And clouds of fire and clouds of flames compass them to the right and to the left. And the holy Chayoth carry the throne of glory from below, each one with three fingers. The measure of the fingers of each one is 800,700 times 100, and 66,000 parasangs. And underneath the feet of the Chayoth, seven fiery rivers are running and flowing. And the breadth of each river is 365,000 parasangs. 
and its depth is 248,000 myriads of parasangs. Its length is unsearchable and immeasurable. And each river turns round in a bow in the four directions of Araboth, Rakia. And from there, it falls down to Maon and is stayed. And from Maon to Zebul. From Zebul to Shechekim. From Shechekim to Rakia. From Rakia to Shamayim. And from Shamayim upon the heads of the wicked who are in Gehenna, as it is written Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord, even his fury, is gone, yea, a whirling tempest. It shall burst upon the head of the wicked. Chapter 34 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, The hoofs of the Chayoth are surrounded by seven clouds of burning coals. The clouds of burning coals are surrounded on the outside by seven walls of flames. The seven walls of flames are surrounded on the outside by seven walls of hailstones. The hailstones are surrounded on the outside by stones of hail, the stone of Barad. The stones of hail are surrounded on the outside by stones of the wings of the tempest. The stones of the wings of the tempest are surrounded on the outside by flames of fire. The flames of fire are surrounded by the chambers of the whirlwind. The chambers of the whirlwind are surrounded on the outside by the fire and the water. Round about the fire and the water are those who utter the holy. Round about those who utter the holy are those who utter the blessed. Round about those who utter the blessed are the bright clouds. The bright clouds are surrounded on the outside by coals of burning juniper. And on the outside, surrounding the coals of burning juniper, there are thousand camps of fire. And ten thousand hosts of flames. And between every several camp and every several host, there is a cloud. So that they may not be burnt by the fire. Chapter 35 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel the prince of the presence, said to me, 506,000 myriads of camps has the Holy One, blessed be he, in the height of Araboth, Rakia. And each camp is composed of 496,000 angels. And every single angel, the height of his stature, is as the great sea. And the appearance of their countenance, as the appearance of the lightning. And their eyes as lamps of fire. And their arms and their feet, like in color, to polished brass. And the roaring voice, of their words, like the voice, of a multitude. And they are all standing before the throne of glory, in four rows. And the princes of the army are standing at the head of each row. And some of them utter the holy. And others utter the blessed. Some of them run as messengers. Others are standing in attendance according as it is written. Thousand, thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were opened. And in the hour when the time draws nigh for to say, The Holy. Then first, there goes forth a whirlwind, from before the Holy One, blessed be He. And bursts upon the camp of Shekinah. And there arises a great commotion among them as it is written. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing commotion. At that moment, thousand, thousands of them are changed into sparks. Thousand thousands of them into fire brands. Thousand thousands into flashes. Thousand thousands into flames. Thousand thousands into males, thousand thousands into females. 
thousand thousands into winds, thousand thousands into burning fires, thousand thousands into flames, thousand thousands into sparks, thousand thousands into cashmoles of light, until they take upon themselves the yoke of the kingdom of heaven, the high and lifted up of the creator of them all, with fear, dread, awe, and trembling, with commotion, anguish, terror, and trepidation. Then they are changed again into their former shape to have the fear of their king before them always, as they have set their hearts on saying the song continually, as it is written. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy. Chapter 36 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, At the time when the ministering angels desire to say the song, then the Nihar Din or the fiery stream rises. With many thousand thousands and myriads of myriads of angels, of power and strength of fire. And it runs and passes under the throne of glory, between the camps of the ministering angels and the troops of Araboth. And all the ministering angels first go down into Nihardiner. And they dip themselves in the fire. And dip their tongue and their mouth seven times. And after that, they go up and put on the garment of Meshach Samal. And cover themselves with cloaks of Kashmal and stand in four rows, over against the throne of glory, in all the heavens. Chapter 37 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel the prince of the presence, said to me, In the seven halls, there are standing four, chariots of Shekinah, and before each one, are standing the four camps of Shekinah. Between each camp a river of fire is continually flowing. Between each river there are bright clouds surrounding them. And between each cloud there are put up pillars of brimstone. Between one pillar and another there are standing flaming wheels surrounding them. And between one wheel and another there are flames of fire round about. Between one flame and another, there are treasuries of lightnings. Behind the treasuries of lightnings are the wings of the storm wind. Behind the wings of the storm wind are the chambers of the tempest. Behind the chambers of the tempest, there are winds, voices, thunders, sparks upon sparks, and earthquakes upon earthquakes. Chapter 38 of Third Enoch, read by Thirty-One Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron the angel the prince of the presence, said to me, At the time when the ministering angels utter the thrice holy, then all the pillars of the heavens and their sockets do tremble, and the gates of the halls of Araboth Rakia are shaken and the foundations of Sheke Kim and the universe, the Tabel, are moved. And the orders of Maon and the chambers of Maikon quiver. And all the orders of Rekia and the constellations and the planets are dismayed. And the globes of the sun and the moon haste away and flee out of their courses and run twelve thousand parasangs. And seek to throw themselves down from heaven by reason of the roaring voice of their chant, and the noise of their praise, and the sparks and lightnings that go forth from their faces, as it is written. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven, and the lightnings lightened the world, the earth trembled and shook. Until the prince of the world calls them, saying, Be ye quiet in your place. Fear not because of the ministering angels who sing the song before the Holy One, blessed be He. As it is written, when the morning stars sang together, and all the children of heaven 
shouted for joy. Chapter 39 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, When the ministering angels utter the holy, then all the explicit names that are graven with a flaming style on the throne of glory fly off like eagles with sixteen wings. And they surround and compass the Holy One, blessed be He, on the four sides of the place of Ishakina. And the angels of the host, and the flaming servants. And the mighty Ophanim and the cherubim of the Shekina and the holy Chayoth and the seraphim, and the erelim, and the tafsirim, and the troops of consuming fire, and the fiery, armies, and the flaming hosts, and the holy princes, adorned with crowns, clad in kingly majesty, wrapped in glory, girt with loftiness, fall upon their faces three times, saying, Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom, for ever, and ever. Chapter 40 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, When the ministering angels say holy, before the Holy One, blessed be he, in the proper way. Then the servants of his throne, the attendants of his glory, go forth with great mirth, from under the throne of glory. And they all carry in their hands, each one of them, thousand thousand, and ten thousand, times ten thousand, crowns of stars, similar in appearance to the planet Venus. And put them on, the ministering angels, and the great princes, who utter the holy. Three crowns they put on, each one of them. One crown because they say holy. Another crown, because they say holy, holy. And a third crown, because they say, holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts. And in the moment that they do not utter the holy in the right order, a consuming fire goes forth from the little finger of the Holy One, blessed be He, and falls down in the midst of their ranks, and is divided into 496,000 parts corresponding to the four camps of the ministering angels, and consumes them in one moment as it is written, A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his adversaries round about. After that the Holy One, blessed be he, opens his mouth and speaks one word, and creates others in their stead, new ones, like them. And each one stands, before his throne of glory, uttering the holy. As it is written, They are new, every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Chapter 41 of Third Enoch, read, by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Come and behold the letters, by which the heaven and the earth were created. The letters by which were created the mountains and hills. The letters, by which were created the seas and rivers. The letters by which were created the trees and herbs. The letters, by which were created the planets and the constellations. The letters, by which were created the globe of the moon and the globe of the sun. Orion, the Pleiades, and all the different luminaries of Rakia. The letters by which were created the throne of glory and the wheels of the Merkaba. The letters by which were created the necessities of the worlds. The letters by which were created wisdom, understanding, knowledge, prudence meekness and righteousness, by which the whole world is sustained. And I walked by his side. And he took me by his hand, and raised me upon his wings, and showed me those letters. 
all of them that are graven with a flaming style, on the throne of glory. And sparks go forth from them, and cover all the chambers of Araboth. Chapter 42 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Come and I will show thee where the waters are suspended in the highest, where fire is burning in the midst of hail, where lightnings lighten out of the midst of snowy mountains, where thunders are roaring in the celestial heights, where a flame is burning in the midst of the burning fire, and where voices make themselves heard in the midst of thunder and earthquake. Then I went by his side, and he took me by his hand, and lifted me up on his wings, and showed me all those things. I beheld the waters, suspended on high, in Araboth Rakia. By the name Yah, Ehiyah, Asher Ehiyah. That is, Yah. I am, that I am. And their fruits, going down from heaven. And watering the face of the world, as it is written. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy work. And I saw fire and snow and hailstone that were mingled together within each other and yet were undamaged by the name Ash Okala, as it is written. For the Lord, thy God, is a consuming fire. And I saw lightnings that were lightning out of mountains of snow and yet were not damaged by the name Yah, Sir Olamim, as it is written. For in Yah, Yahweh, the everlasting rock. And I saw thunders and voices that were roaring in the midst of fiery flames and were not damaged by the name El Shaddai Rabbah, as it is written. I am God Almighty. And I beheld a flame and a glow that were flaming and glowing in the midst of burning fire and yet were not damaged, by the name Yad al Kasyah, as it is written. And he said, For the hand is upon, the throne of the Lord. And I beheld rivers of fire, in the midst of rivers of water. And they were not damaged, by the name Ose Shalom, as it is written. He maketh peace in his high places. For he makes peace, between the fire and the water, between the hail and the fire, between the wind and the cloud, between the earthquake and the sparks. Chapter 43 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron said to me, Come and I will show thee where are the spirits of the righteous that have been created and have returned, and the spirits of the righteous that have not yet been created. And he lifted me up to his side, took me by his hand and lifted me up, near the throne of glory, by the place of the Shekinah. And he revealed the throne of glory to me. And he showed me the spirits that have been created and had returned. And they were flying above the throne of glory, before the Holy One, blessed be He. After that I went, to interpret the following verse of Scripture. And I found in what is written. For the Spirit clothed itself before me. And the souls I have made. That means the spirits that have been created, in the chamber of creation of the righteous. And that have returned before the Holy One, blessed be he. And the words, and the souls I have made, refer to the spirits of the righteous that have not yet been created in the chamber, or guff. Chapter 44 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, Come and I will show thee, the spirits of the wicked, and the spirits of the intermediate. Where they are standing, and the spirits of the intermediate, whither they go down. And the spirits, of the wicked, where they, go down. And he said to me, 
the spirits of the wicked go down to Sheol by the hands of two angels of destruction. Zaafiel and Simkiel are their names. Simkiel is appointed over the intermediate to support them and purify them because of the great mercy of the prince of the place. Zaafiel is appointed over the spirits of the wicked in order to cast them down from the presence of the Holy One, blessed be He, and from the splendor of the Shekinah to Sheol, to be punished in the fire of Gehenna with staves of burning coal. And I went by His side, and He took me by His hand, and showed me all of them with His fingers. And I beheld the appearance of their faces, and, lo, it was as the appearance of children of men and their bodies, like eagles. And not only that, but furthermore, the color of the countenance of the intermediate was like pale gray on account of their deeds. For there are stains upon them until they have become cleaned from their iniquity in the fire. And the color of the wicked was like the bottom of a pot on account of the wickedness of their doings. And I saw the spirits of the patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the rest of the righteous, whom they have brought up out of their graves, and who have ascended to the heaven. And they were praying before the Holy One, blessed be He, saying in their prayer, Lord of the universe, how long wilt thou sit upon thy throne like a mourner in the days of his mourning? with thy right hand behind thee, and not deliver thy children, and reveal thy kingdom in the world? And for how long wilt thou have no pity upon thy children, who are made slaves among the nations of the world? Nor upon thy right hand, that is behind thee wherewith. Thou didst stretch out the heavens, and the earth, and the heavens of heavens. When wilt thou have compassion? Then the Holy One, blessed be He, answered every one of them, saying, Since these wicked do sin, so and so, and transgress with such and such transgressions against me, how could I deliver my great right hand in the downfall by their hands? In that moment Metatron called me and spake to me, My servant, take the books and read their evil doings. Forthwith I took the books and read their doings. And there were to be found thirty-six transgressions written down with regard to each wicked one. And besides, that they have transgressed all the letters in the Torah, as it is written. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. It is not written, Al, Torah Tekiha, but, It, Torah Teka. For they have transgressed from Aleph, to Ta. Forty statutes have they transgressed, for each letter. Forthwith Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob wept. Then said to them the Holy One, Blessed be He. Abraham my beloved. Isaac my elect one. Jacob my firstborn. How can I now deliver them, from among the nations of the world? And forthwith Michael the prince of Israel, cried and wept with a loud voice, and said, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Chapter 45 of Third Enoch, read by, 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron, said to me, Come, and I will show thee, the curtain of the divine majesty, which is spread before the Holy One, blessed be he. And whereon are graven all the generations of the world and all their doings, both what they have done and what they will do until the end of all generations. And I went, and he showed it to me pointing it out with his fingers, like a father who teaches his children the letters of Torah. And I saw each generation, the rulers of each generation and the heads of each generation the shepherds of each generation, the oppressors of each generation, the keepers of each generation, the scourgers of each generation, 
the overseers of each generation, the judges of each generation, the court officers of each generation, the teachers of each generation, the supporters of each generation, the chiefs of each generation, the presidents of academies of each generation, the magistrates of each generation, the princes of each generation, the counselors of each generation, the nobles of each generation, and the men of might of each generation, the elders of each generation, and the guides of each generation. And I saw Adam, his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Noah and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. And the generation of the flood, their doings and their thoughts. Shem and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Nimrod and the generation of the confusion of tongues and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Abraham and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Isaac and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Ishmael and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Jacob and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Joseph and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. The tribes and their generation, their doings and their thoughts. Amram and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Moses and his generation, their doings and their thoughts. Aaron and Miriam, their works and their doings. The princes and the elders, their works and doings. Joshua and his generation, their works and doings. The judges and their generation, their works and doings. Eli and his generation, their works and doings. Phineas, their works and doings. Elkanah and his generation, their works and their doings. Samuel and his generation, their works and doings. The kings of Judah with their generations. Their works and their doings. The kings of Israel and their generations. Their works and their doings. The princes of Israel, their works and their doings. The princes of the nations of the world. Their works and their doings. The heads of the councils of Israel, their works and their doings. The heads of the councils in the nations of the world, their generations, their works, and their doings. The rulers of Israel and their generation. Their works and their doings. The nobles of Israel and their generation. Their works and their doings. The nobles of the nations of the world and their generations. Their works and their doings. The men of reputation in Israel, their generation, their works and their doings. The judges of Israel, their generation, their works, and their doings. The judges of the nations of the world and their generation, their works and their doings. The teachers of children in Israel, their generations, their works and their doings. The teachers of children in the nations of the world, their generations, their works, and their doings. The counselors of Israel, their generation, their works, and their doings. The counselors of the nations of the world, their generation, their works, and their doings. All the prophets of Israel, their generation, their works, and their doings. All the prophets of the nations of the world, their generation, their works, and their doings and all the fights and wars that the nations of the world wrought against the people of Israel in the time of their kingdom. And I saw Messiah, son of Joseph, and his generation, and their works, and their doings that they will do against the nations of the world. And I saw Messiah, son of David, and his generation. And all the fights and wars, and their works, and their doings that they will do with Israel, both for good and evil.
And I saw all the fights and wars that Gog and Magog will fight in the days of Messiah. And all that the Holy One, blessed be He, will do with them in the time to come. And all the rest of all the leaders of the generations. And all the works of the generations, both in Israel and in the nations of the world. Both what is done and what will be done hereafter to all generations until the end of time. All were graven on the curtain of Makom. And I saw all these things with my eyes. And after I had seen it, I opened my mouth in praise of Makom, the divine majesty, saying thus. For the king's word hath power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Whoso keepeth the commandments, shall know, no evil thing. And I said, O Lord, how manifold are thy works! Chapter 46 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said, Metatron said to me, Come, and I will show thee the space of the stars that are standing in Rekia, night by night, in fear of the Almighty, the Makom. And I will show thee where they go, and where they stand. I walked by his side, and he took me by his hand, and pointed out all to me with his fingers. And they were standing on sparks of flames round the Merkaba of the Almighty. What did Metatron do? At that moment, he clapped his hands and chased them off from their place. Forthwith they flew off on flaming wings, rose and fled, from the four sides of the throne of the Merkaba. And as they flew he told me the names of every single one. As it is written, he telleth the number of the stars. He giveth them all their names. Teaching, that the Holy One, blessed be he, has given a name to each one of them. And they all enter in counted order. Under the guidance of Rahatiel, to Rekia, Hashemayim, to serve the world. And they go out in counted order, to praise the Holy One, blessed be He, with songs and hymns, according as it is written. The heavens declare the glory of God. But in the time to come, the Holy One, blessed be He, will create them anew, as it is written. They are new every morning, and they open their mouth and utter a song. Which is the song that they utter? When I consider thy heavens. Chapter 47 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Rabbi Ishmael said. Metatron said to me. Come and I will show thee the souls of the angels and the spirits of the ministering servants whose bodies have been burnt in the fire of the Almighty that goes forth from his little finger. And they have been made into fiery coals in the midst of the fiery river. But their spirits and their souls are standing behind the Shekinah. Whenever the ministering angels utter a song at a wrong time or is not appointed to be sung, they are burnt and consumed by the fire of their Creator, and by a flame from their Maker in the places of the whirlwind. For it blows upon them and drives them into the Nihardiner. And there, they are made into numerous mountains of burning coal. But their spirit and their soul return to their Creator, and all are standing behind their Master. And I went by his side, and he took me by his hand. And he showed me all the souls of the angels, and the spirits of the ministering servants who were standing behind the Shekinah, upon wings of the whirlwind and walls of fire surrounding them. At that moment, Metatron opened to me the gates of the walls, within which they were standing behind the Shekinah. And I lifted up my eyes and saw them, and behold, the likeness of every one was as that of angels. And their wings, like birds' wings made out of flames, the work of burning fire. In that moment I opened my mouth, in praise of Makom, and said, How great are thy works, O Lord! 
Chapter 48 of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls Rabbi Ishmael said. Metatron said to me. Come, and I will show thee, the right hand of Makong. Laid behind him because of the destruction, of the holy temple. From which all kinds of splendor and light, shine forth. And by which, the 955 heavens were created and whom not even the seraphim and the ophanim are permitted to behold until the day of salvation shall arrive. And I went by his side. And he took me by his hand, and showed me the right hand of Makong, with all manner of praise, rejoicing in song. And no mouth can tell its praise. And no eye can behold it. Because of its greatness, dignity, majesty, glory, and beauty. And not only that, but all the souls of the righteous, who are counted worthy, to behold the joy of Jerusalem, they are standing by it, praising and praying before it, three times, every day, saying, Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. According as it is written, he caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses. In that moment the right hand of Makong was weeping. And there went forth from its five fingers, five rivers of tears. And fell down into the great sea, and shook the whole world, according as it is written. The earth is utterly broken. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall stagger like a drunken man and shall be moved to and fro, like a hut. Five times, corresponding to the fingers of his great right hand. But when the Holy One, blessed be he, sees that there is no righteous man in the generation, and no pious man on earth, and no justice in the hands of men, and that there is no man like unto Moses, and no intercessor, as Samuel, who could pray before Makom, for the salvation and for the deliverance and for his kingdom, that it be revealed in the whole world, and for his great right hand that he put it before himself again to work great salvation by it for Israel. Then forthwith will the Holy One, blessed be he, remember his own justice, favor, mercy, and grace, and he will deliver his great arm by himself and his righteousness will support him, according as it is written. And he saw that there was no man that is, like unto Moses, who prayed countless times for Israel in the desert and averted the divine decrees from them. And he wondered that there was no intercessor like unto Samuel, who entreated the Holy One, blessed be he, and called unto him, and he answered him and fulfilled his desire, even if it was not fit, in accordance with the divine plan, according as it is written. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto the Lord. And not only that, but he joined fellowship with Moses in every place, as it is written. Moses and Aaron among his priests. And again it is written. Though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Mine own arm brought salvation unto me. Said the Holy One, Blessed be he, in that hour. How long shall I wait for the children of men to work salvation according to their righteousness for my arm? For my own sake and for the sake of my merit and righteousness will I deliver my arm. And by it, redeem my children from among the nations of the world. As it is written, for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be profaned? In that moment, will the Holy One, blessed be He, reveal His great arm and show it to the nations of the world. For its length is as the length of the world, and its breadth is as the width of the world. And the appearance of its splendor is like unto the splendor of the sunshine in its might in the summer solstice. Forthwith Israel will be saved from among the nations of the world. 
and Messiah, will appear unto them. And he will bring them up to Jerusalem with great joy. And not only that, but they will eat and drink. For they will glorify the kingdom of Messiah, of the house of David. In the four quarters of the world. And the nations of the world will not prevail against them, as it is written. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. And again, the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God with him. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Chapter 48, B, of Third Enoch. Read by 31 Pearls. Editor's Note from 31 Pearls. This section contains the 72 names that are written on the heart of the Holy One. Some of these names are unpronounceable. We have numbered each name and pronounced the ones we can. The names that we can't, we will spell. These are the 72 names written on the heart of the Holy One, blessed be He. 1. S.S. 2. Sedek. 3. Sa'el Sir. 4. S.B.I. 5. Sadik. 6. S.P.H. 7. S.H.N. 8. Sebaoth. 9. Shaddai. 10. Elohim. 11. Yahweh. 12. S.H. 13. D.G.U.L. 14. W. Apostrophe. D. O. M. 15. S.S.S. Apostrophe. Apostrophe. 16. Apostrophe. Y W apostrophe. 17. Apostrophe Y apostrophe. 18. Apostrophe H W. 19. H B. 20. Yah. 21. H W. 22. W W W. 23. SSS 24 PPP 25 NN 26 HH 27 Hey Living 28 Hey 29 Rokeb Araboth 30 YH 31 HH 32, WH. 33, MMM. 34, NNN. 35, HWW. 36, YH. 37, YHH. 38, HPHS. 39, H apostrophe S. 40, apostrophe I. 41, W. 42, S apostrophe apostrophe. 43, Z apostrophe. 44, apostrophe apostrophe. 45, QQQ. 46, Q, S, H, R. 47, BW. 48, ZK. 49, Geiner. 50, Generia. 51, Y apostrophe. 52, Yod. 53, Aleph. 54, H apostrophe N. 55, P, apostrophe P. 56, R, apostrophe W. 57, 
YYWY. 58, YYW. 59, BBB. 60, D, D, D. 61, T, T, T. 62, K, K, K. 63, K, L, L. 64, S, Y, S. 65, apostrophe, X, T, apostrophe. 66, B, S, H, K, M, L, W. The rest of the names are in the following text. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Completed for Melech HaOlam. The King of the Universe. J. B. R. H. L. B. Apostrophe. The Beginning of Wisdom for the Children of Men. B. N. L. K. W. Apostrophe. Y. Blessed be he. Who gives strength to the weary. And increaseth strength to them that have no might. That go forth adorned with numerous crowns of fire. With numerous crowns of flame. With numerous crowns of cashmel. With numerous crowns of lightning from before the throne of glory. And with them there are thousand hundreds of power. Powerful angels who escort them like a king. With trembling and dread. With awe and shivering. With honor and majesty and fear. With terror. With greatness and dignity. With glory and strength. With understanding and knowledge. And with a pillar of fire and a pillar of flame and lightning. And their light is as lightnings of light and with the likeness of the Kashmal. And they give glory unto them. And they answer and cry before them. Holy, holy, holy. And they convoy them through every heaven as mighty and honored princes. And when they bring them all back to the place of the throne of glory, then all the Chayoth by the Merkaba open their mouth in praise of his glorious name, saying, Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom for ever and ever. Chapter 48, C, of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. An Enoch, Metatron piece. Alternate, 1. I seized him. And I took him. And I appointed him, that is Enoch, the son, of Jared. Whose name is Metatron. And I took him from among the children of men. And made him a throne, over against my throne. Which is the size, of that throne? Seventy thousand parasangs. All, of fire. I committed unto him, seventy angels corresponding to the nations of the world. And I gave into his charge, all the household, above and below. And I committed to him, wisdom and intelligence. More than to all the angels. And I called his name, the Lesser Yah, whose name is by Gematria 71. And I arranged for him all the works of creation. And I made his power to transcend. I made for him, power. More than all the ministering angels. Chapter 48, C, of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. Alternate 2. He committed unto Metatron that is Enoch, the son, of Jared, all treasuries. And I appointed him over all the stores that I have in every heaven. And I committed into his hands the keys of each heavenly store. I made of him the prince over all the princes. And I made of him a minister of my throne of glory. To provide for and arrange the holy Chayoth. To wreathe crowns for them. 
to crown them with crowns, to clothe them with honor and majesty, to prepare for them a seat when he is sitting on his throne, to magnify his glory in the height, the height of his stature among all those that are of high stature is seventy thousand parasangs. And I made his glory great as the majesty of my glory. And the brilliance of his eyes as the splendor of the throne of glory. His garment, honor and majesty. His royal crown, five hundred by five hundred parasangs. Chapter 48 C. Of Third Enoch, read by Thirty One Pearls. Alternate 3. Aleph. I made him strong. I took him, I appointed him. Namely, Metatron, my servant, who is one unique among all the children of heaven. I made him strong in the generation of the first Adam. But when I beheld the men of the generation of the flood, that they were corrupt. Then I went and removed my Shekinah from among them. And I lifted it up on high, with the sound of a trumpet. And with a shout, as it is written. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. And I took him, that is Enoch, the son of Jared, from among them. And I lifted him up with the sound of a trumpet and with a shout to the high heavens, to be my witness together with the Chayoth, by the Merkaba, in the world, to come. I appointed him over all the treasuries and stores that I have in every heaven, and I committed into his hand the keys of every several one. I made of him the prince over all the princes, and a minister of the throne of glory and the halls of Araboth to open their doors to me, and of the throne of glory, to exalt and arrange it. And I appointed him over the holy Chayoth, to wreathe crowns, upon their heads. Over the majestic Ophanim, to crown them, with strength and glory. The honored, cherubim, to clothe them in majesty. Over the radiant sparks. To make them to shine, with splendor, and brilliance over the flaming seraphim, to cover them with highness, the cash malum of light, to make them radiant with light, and to prepare the seat for me every morning as I sit upon the throne of glory, and to extol and magnify my glory in the height of my power. And I have committed unto him the secrets of above, and the secrets of below, heavenly secrets and earthly secrets, I made him higher than all, the height of his stature, in the midst of all who are high of stature. I made seventy thousand parasangs. I made his throne great by the majesty of my throne, and I increased its glory by the honor of my glory. I transformed his flesh into torches of fire, and all the bones of his body into fiery coals. And I made the appearance of his eyes, as the lightning, and the light of his eyebrows, as the imperishable light. I made his face, bright as the splendor of the sun, and his eyes as the splendor of the throne of glory. I made honor and majesty, his clothing, beauty and highness his covering cloak, and a royal crown, of five hundred by times five hundred parasangs, his diadem. And I put upon him of my honor, my majesty and the splendor, of my glory, that is upon my throne of glory. I called him the lesser Yahweh, the prince of the presence, the knower of secrets. For every secret did I reveal to him as a father, and all mysteries declared I unto him in uprightness. I transformed his flesh into torches of fire, and all the bones of his body into fiery coals. And I made the appearance of his eyes as the lightning, and the light of his eyebrows as the imperishable light. 
I made his face bright as the splendor of the sun, and his eyes as the splendor of the throne of glory. I made honor and majesty his clothing, beauty and highness his covering cloak, and a royal crown of five hundred by times five hundred parasangs his diadem. And I put upon him of my honor, my majesty and the splendor of my glory that is upon my throne of glory. I called him the lesser Yahweh, the prince of the presence, the knower of secrets. For every secret did I reveal to him as a father, and all mysteries declared I unto him in uprightness. To abase by his word the proud to the ground, and to exalt by the utterance of his lips the humble to the height. To smite kings by his speech, to turn kings away from their paths, to set up the rulers over their dominion as it is written, and he changeth the times and the seasons, and to give wisdom unto all the setwise of the world, and understanding and knowledge to all who understand knowledge as it is written, and knowledge to them that know understanding, to reveal to them the secrets of my words, and to teach the decree of my righteous judgment as it is written, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I please. I shall accomplish is not written here, but he shall accomplish. Meaning, that whatever word, and whatever utterance goes forth, from before the Holy One, blessed be he, Metatron, stands and carries it out and he establishes the decrees of the Holy One, blessed be he. Chapter 48 D of 3rd Enoch read by 31 Pearls Editor's Note Some of the following names are unpronounceable, as some of them are but a single letter. For the names that cannot be pronounced, we will spell them as in the previous chapter. Seventy names has Metatron, which the Holy One, blessed be he, took from his own name and put upon him. And these, they are. 1. Yahoyel, Yah. 2. Yahoyel. 3. Yophiel. And 4. Yaphiel. And 5. Aphiel. And 6. Margesial. 7. Jipwheel. 8. Paeasial. 9. A. Ah. 10. Perial. 11. Tatrial. 12. Tabkeel. 13. Apostrophe W. 14. Yahweh. 15. D. H. 16. W. H. Y. H. 17. E. Bed. 18. De Burial. 19. Af. Appy L. 20. Sapiel. 21. Paspaciel. 22. Senegrin. 23. Metatron. 24. Sogden. 25. Adrigan. 26. Assam. 27. Sakbum. 28. Sactum. 29. Megon. 30. Mit Tun. 31. Motron. 32. Rose Fim. 33. Chin Off. 34. Chatat Ya. 35. Degaz Ya. 36. Paspya. Ya. 37. B. S. K. N. Y. 
H. 38 M G R G. 39 Barad. 40 M K R K K. 41 M S P R D. 42 C H S H G. 43 C H S H B. 44 M N R T T T. 45 B S Y R Y M. 46 Mitman. 47 Teetman. 48 Piskin. 49 Safsafya. 50 Z R C H. 51 Z R C H Ya. 52 B. 53 Baya. 54 H B H Baya. 55 Pilet. 56 P L T Ya. 57 Rab Rab Ya. 58 Chaz. 59 Chaz Ya. 60 Taf Taf Ya. 61 Tam Tam Ya. 62 Say Has Ya. 63 I Rower Ya. 64 Al Al Ya. 65 Basrid Ya. 66 Sat Sat Kaya. 67 Sas Daya. 68 Raz Raz Ya. 69 Buz Raz Ya. 70 Aram Ya. 71 S B H Ya. 72 S B I B K H Y H. 73 Sim Cam. 74 Ya Say Ya. 75 S S B I B Ya. 76 Sabkis Bay Ya. 77 Kalilkal Ya. 78 K I H H H. 79 H H Y H. 80 W H. 81 W H Y H. 82 Zach Kick Ya. 83 Tutrizi Ya. 84 Ser Ya. 85 Zay. 86 Panera Ya. 87 Z Z I H. 88 Gal Raza Ya. 89 Mam Leak Ya. 90 T T Ya. 91 Emek. 92 Cam Ya. 93 May Capper Ya. 94 Parish Ya. 95 Say Fam. 96 G B I R. 97 Gibra Ya. 98 Gore. 99 Gore Ya. 100 Z I W. 101 Oak Bar. The 102. Lesser Yahweh. After the name of his master, 
for my name is in him. 103. Rababil. 104. Tumil. 105. Sagnasakiel, the Prince of Wisdom. And why is he called by the name Sagnasakiel? Because all the treasuries of wisdom are committed in his hand. And all of them were open to Moses on Sinai, so that he learned them during the forty days while he was standing. The Torah and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. The prophets and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. The writings and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. The halakhas and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. The traditions and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. The haggadahs and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. And the toseftas and the seventy aspects of the seventy tongues. But as soon as the forty days were ended, he forgot all of them in one moment. Then the Holy One, blessed be he, called, Yephephiah, the Prince of the Law. And through him, they were given to Moses as a gift, as it is written. And the Lord gave them unto me. And after that it remained with him. And whence do we know that it remained in his memory? Because it is written, Remember ye, the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb, for all Israel, even my statutes and judgments. The law of Moses. That is the Torah. The prophets. And the writings and statutes. That is the halakhas and traditions. Judgments. That is the Haggadahs and the Toseftas. And all of them were given to Moses on high on Sinai. These seventy names are a reflection of the explicit names on the Merkabah, which are graven upon the throne of glory. For the Holy One, blessed be He, took from His explicit names and put upon the name of Metatron. Seventy names of his, by which the ministering angels, call the king, of the kings of kings, blessed be he, in the high heavens. And twenty-two letters that are on the ring upon his finger, with which are sealed, the destinies of the princes of kingdoms on high, in greatness and power, and with which are sealed the lots of the angel of death, and the destinies, of every nation, and tongue. Said Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence. The angel, the prince of the wisdom. The angel, the prince of the understanding. The angel, the prince of the kings. The angel, the prince of the rulers. The angel, the prince of the glory. The angel, the prince of the high ones. And of the princes. The exalted, great and honored ones, in heaven and on earth. Yahweh, the God of Israel, is my witness in this thing. That when I revealed this secret to Moses, then all the hosts, in every heaven on high, raged against me and said to me, Why dost thou reveal this secret to son of man, born of woman, tainted and unclean, a man of a putrefying drop, the secret by which were created heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land, the mountains and hills, the rivers and springs, Gehenna of fire and hail, the garden of Eden and the tree of life, and by which were formed Adam and Eve, and the cattle and the wild beasts and the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and behemoth and leviathan and the creeping things, the worms, the dragons of the sea, and the creeping things of the deserts, and the Torah and wisdom and knowledge and thought, and the gnosis of things above and the fear of heaven. Why dost thou reveal this to flesh and blood, 
Hast thou obtained authority from Makom? And again, hast thou received permission? The explicit names went forth from before me with lightnings of fire and flaming Kashmalim. But they were not appeased. Until the Holy One, blessed be He, rebuked them. And drove them away with rebuke from before Him, saying to them, I delight in, and have set my love on, and have entrusted, and committed, unto Metatron my servant, alone. For he is one, unique among all the children, of heaven. And Metatron brought them out, from his house of treasuries, and committed them to Moses, and Moses, to Joshua, and Joshua to the elders, and the elders to the prophets, and the prophets to the men of the great synagogue. And the men of the great synagogue to Ezra. And Ezra the scribe to Hillel the elder. And Hillel the elder to Rabbi Abihu. And Rabbi Abihu to Rabbi Zerah. And Rabbi Zerah to the men of faith. And the men of faith committed them to give warning and to heal by them all diseases that rage in the world, as it is written. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his eyes, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon thee which I have put upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Ended and finished. Praise be unto the Creator of the world. End of Third Enoch, read by 31 Pearls. All rights are reserved.